A funny thing that people don't realize is that despite all the practice that I've had and speaking on all these different platforms and stages, they don't know that even today, if I were to go on a really big stage, 5,000, 10,000 people, I still have that hint, that feeling of nervousness before going on. And I thought to myself that perhaps one day after all this practice, that nervousness was still going. But it's been five years now and after speaking for a few thousand hours on stage, I still have that feeling of nervousness. And this is where I feel, I, can't, I remind myself, this is one of the many differences between successful people and other people. And it's basically this one question, which is basically, when a successful person is met with an obstacle or a challenge or an objection, this is the biggest difference between an, a successful person and a, an average person. And it's basically this, when they're met with this challenge, an average person says this. They say, I want to be able to do that, but I am not like that. And this is when they quit. They let that be the reason why they can't do it. Whereas for a successful person, they say, I want to be able to achieve this goal, this dream, this ambition, but I am not like that. I'm not an extrovert. I'm not good at sales. I'm not good at communication. But here's the underlying difference now. They say, so how can I be more like that? I will now add it to my agenda. I will now read the books. I will listen to the tapes. I will study so that I can become more like that. And that is something that I constantly remind myself. Now, at the end of the day, if you know me personally, if we have dinner together, you realize that I don't, I'm, I'm quiet most of the time. I'm really an introvert trying to play an extrovert game. But a long time ago, I told myself, I understand that in order to take my business to a whole new level, I need to learn how to become more like that. To take me out of my usual comfort zone. Because life begins at the end of our comfort zone. So if right now you have this dream and this ambition to do more and to be more, and you're constantly telling yourself, but I can't do this because I'm not like that, I'd like you to remind yourself that the one difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is in the way they think. They could have the same situation, same circumstance, but a totally different interpretation.